Number six, draw a possible distance time graph for the story described. Label your starting point, ending point, and the parts of the graph that represent the given story. Stacy walks at a constant rate from her house to the bus stop. She sees the bus coming, so she runs at a constant rate to catch it. She gets to the bus stop, but misses the bus. After a short rest, Stacy turns around and walks back home at a constant rate. All right, so we're going to start off. It says Stacy walks at a constant rate from her house, walks at a constant rate from her house to the bus stop. So we're going to draw a line. It's not going to be very steep because steepness means that the speed is quite fast. And this is her walking where the distance is getting greater. You're using a ruler and you're just drawing a line that increases, that isn't super steep, labeling it walking and then stopping so that we have room for the other parts of the story. She sees the bus coming, so she runs at a constant rate to catch it. So we're gonna make a line that's steeper. That's kind of crazy steep, meaning she's going a lot faster than she was when she was walking. All right, but that's fine. You just don't want it vertical. She gets to the bus stop, but misses the bus after a short rest. All right, so a rest is a horizontal line. And actually, let's make it kind of, it says short, so let's make it kind of not as long. Okay, this is her rest. She turns around and walks home at a constant rate. Turns around and walks home. All right, so that would mean we need it to go back now the other way with a negative slope. And we don't want it to be too steep, so we're going to draw it sort of like this. Walking home. And we're going to answer some follow-up questions. By the way, answers to, for this picture could vary, but we're looking for an end result or sketch that looks similar to this. What does the graph look like when Stacy walks from her house to the bus stop? So we'll say something like the line goes... Well, I notice it goes up. It has positive slope. And it is not that steep. Because walking means you're not going quite as fast, right? Walking, and then maybe there's jogging that's maybe a little bit faster, and then running that's faster than that. What does the graph look like when Stacy walks home? The line goes down. It has negative slope. And it is not that steep similar to the other one. What happens to the line if Stacy runs? Well, running, we're looking for a steeper line. The line gets steeper. So orange is steeper. She could be actually running um, and it could go up if she's running away from home, or it could go down, but that never happened. She never ran back home, so we never saw that. And when what happens to the line if Stacy walks? The line gets less steep.
And what happens to the line when Stacy stands still? That would be a rest. The line is, we called this horizontal. and has a slope of, see if you can remember, what type of slope was a horizontal line or a speed that was kind of just not going anywhere? It went that the speed was zero and that the slope was zero.